Hi guys, it's uh, Brian here from One Line at a Time. Forgive me if the audio is clipping a little bit because I'm just doing this as a voiceover and I'm not used to doing it this way. Anyway, um, yeah, the other day I thought I'd um, do some colouring and some drawing. So I just started drawing a, a mandala, basically. Um, midway through I realised the brush was too big and using that particular brush there that juddery brush it doesn't look too great when it's too big it's meant to be like pencil looking so shouldn't really be that in your face but I do make it smaller in a minute anyway I hope you've all been well and um, doing your thing and stuff but yeah not a lot's really been going on I mean I launched the website the um, a mindful line website and I put some community software on there um, the trouble with putting like forum software on a website and things like that building the community is it looks really really empty and derelict <laughs> when you first put them up they take it time to um, join obviously people will go there see it's empty and then not join it um, because whatever they're looking for is not there or what, you know it's just they're quite hard to get off the ground but you know it's just something I wanted to do so I thought I'd get it up there and just you know go through those growing pains as it were you know but you know it'd be great if you, if you popped along and joined it that'd be brilliant it's got to start somewhere <laughs> yeah. yeah as you can see in that there I've made the uh, pen a little bit smaller so it looks a bit looks a bit better I'll get to the colouring soon um, which is the whole purpose of why I was drawing it I just wanted to get onto the colouring I've ordered some colouring markers I forget the name of them though but I'll show them when I get them because um, I, I do enjoy colouring but I don't particularly get on too well with pencils I find them a bit too much work you know even though I bought the expensive ones um, which I mean they're nice you get what you pay for but I still found them a bit of a chore with the colouring and I'd much rather just use uh, markers like felt tips you know do it old school um, yeah anyway so I've ordered those I'm hoping they're gonna be quite fun to use do some you know old style coloring on paper it's, I mean it's, it's good doing it on the iPad I must say and it's uh, more convenient to do it on my iPad I do like using the iPad um, you can actually buy colouring sheets can't you digitally it comes in a PDF or something like that and that can be fun to do on the iPad and it also um, helps you with your drawing skills especially me as you know my drawing's not that great um, so that might not be a bad idea to do again I've only done that a few times I must say but it can be fun and you haven't got all that messy um, you know paint or markers I suppose if you're doing it on your pad the only problem with doing it on the pad is it's not really a physical thing you're holding if you know what I mean that's the only downside I think with doing this stuff digitally it's sometimes it's nice to actually physically hold a card in your hand or a book you know yeah oh, I think I'm getting onto the colouring yeah yeah I'm setting up the colouring and normally you'd put the colouring layer underneath but I thought I would try and keep it on top I don't know why but 
I do I do put it underneath later because it just wasn't really working out um, yeah and when you color things like this from the top and not underneath you got to um, change the you know the um, filter to multiply or dark or something like that otherwise like here you see it's, it's going over the black and I changed the setting there, there you go, multiply it. Just trying them all really, see which one's best. I think, yeah, multiply, I settled on. The, oc oc I can't even say that word, the occupancy of that colour is solid, it's so I'm not going to get lines, you know, and so I'm not really blending, it's just thick, it's like putting on thick paint. Um, so I was trying to keep it simple and I realized as you can see that I didn't have the assisted layer on <laughs> it's such a lazy way of coloring isn't it but it was fun I think it took me about 19 minutes to do that in total I mean we're up to what six minutes drawing and now we're onto the colouring, so that's pretty good. And I saw, I think it's Ken, I saw your um, Zentangle in Facebook and it looked amazing. You know, you, you put me to shame, man. But it's really good to see, to see that because it um, gives, gives me ideas and stuff. And I like the way everything was like crisp and round and triangles were triangle. Um, it looks it looks really like uniformed it's really nice so well done there um, just shows you what you can do in procreate you know and it's still meditational you know like, well, like we all just dis like we discussed it is meditational even though you're using the procreate tools you know I didn't really keep anything symmetrical in this particular in picture. I was just doing a, a simple drawing and colouring exercise really. That's why I'm doing the voiceover because I wanted to do that as an exercise because I was quite stressed going through some stuff at the moment and so I thought I'd just you know have a play around on the pad and uh, I videoed it and you'll be surprised how much your mind can relax when you're doing stuff like that because you're no longer dwelling on stuff are you when you're doing it you know and the more you do this sort of stuff drawing I mean I've been out of drawing for a few months as you know because of my illness and it's like coming back from scratch for me but I'm sure what after a while I'll get back into the swing of it but these meditations aren't about drawing um, uh, mobility it's, it's, it's about doing the exercise you know that's that's what it's about so you don't have to be good at drawing I think you know I'm not an artist you know that's not my living but I do like the meditational value from being creative like that and I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same yeah but I do like digital colouring digital drawing it's just so handy you know so so convenient but I do want to get into doing some you know uh, paper pen on paper <laughs> because that is really cool and not everyone's got an iPad you know or well, they have got an iPad but they haven't got an iPad Pro so sadly they're using their finger or you know they're just not doing it on their pad just drinking coffee well it's really crappy weather here it's really weird it's like you get all different weathers in the same day rain, sun, cloud, cold, hot I'm supposed to be going to Spain 
just to recoup a bit but I've just been told that I'm not getting my money any money until the end of the month so I don't think I'll be going to Spain next month no point going there we got no money <laughs> so yeah you know it gives me time more time to work on the community website which you should go and join I should add a little plug there go join the site yeah. you should give this a go you know if, you, if you've got an iPad and you're using Procreate just draw something like anything it doesn't have to be fantastic um, and then colour it. I tend to do a lot of the drawings but I don't colour it. I don't know if you're the same. You know, you, can, you draw these things but you never coloured them. <laughs> so I thought I'd colour it, you know, why not? So, put that as a challenge to yourself that, okay, you're going to draw something but then you're going to colour it, eh? Wouldn't that be a good challenge? Even if you do it on paper, if you draw something on paper, like if you're doing the Zentangles, yeah, or a, mand a mandala on paper even, colour it. It'd be, it'd be interesting to see the meditational value from it. If you feel at just as relaxed colouring as you did when you drew it, wouldn't that be a, a, a great comparison? I find it is just as relaxing colouring. I do find the drawing better I must say more lazy I suppose uh, than the colouring but colouring is and can be really um, relaxing and if you look at the um, statistics the numbers there's a lot of colourists out there more colourists than there are drawing people who do the Zentangles and Mandalas uh, I think colouring used to be the number one you know coloring books were the number one sellers on amazon i believe so everyone keeps selling me but sadly as you know i only found this meditational method when i had my first heart attack so i'm quite new to it all this method anyway i've been doing other methods obviously it didn't work because i had a big heart attack <laughs> gotta laugh yeah. Anyway, this is this drawing is nearly done. It's just a quick, it was just a quickie. So, yeah. But remember, pop along to the new community because I really want to get that going, and it'd be nice to network with you guys, and for you guys to actually either network, and if you you know if you're into selling stuff, sell your stuff there. It'd be cool to be help helped in that way, wouldn't it? Or, you know, you might get some good deals from other people. You never know. You never know. But it is community-based. It's not all about buying and selling. You know, it's just networking. Showing off, showing off your stuff. Showing your colours. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and let this video finish because it's nearly done. Actually, no, I won't shut up because there's something I'm going to do in a minute. As you see, I'm adding these little light effects, which I think is really a nice touch. I know that when you're colouring, and it's you want to add white on top of your colour, it's quite difficult because you're going on top of colour. So people use like gels, don't they? But with the iPad, it's just like magic. It's just you can just add it. So that's all good stuff. Yeah. See, my rubbish drawer in there looks a lot different now it's been coloured. Doesn't it? I think this is where I tried getting creative. Yeah, experimenting. But I don't know if that looks any, be any good putting that sort of speckle over the light. But I thought I'd give it a go. I don't think it looked that bad. It gives it a bit of a glow, doesn't it? 
that's the effect I was looking for, a bit of a glow. Maybe I should have done it sort of a slight yellow or a slight blue, maybe, I don't know. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? Experimenting, playing around. Yeah. So that was my basically me playing around with colour. And I, I challenge you to, to do it. Next drawing you do, have a get colour in it. Because I found it quite rewarding doing that. And I don't do it that, that often, as you know. A lot of my stuff's not coloured. But do it on a different layer. Don't colour your, don't colour the main. See here, that's when I realised I should have just put it underneath because it's not working out, changing the background of the filter so I'm multiplying it so I think at some point I move it underneath it's me thinking about it there look it's my brain ticking there you go I, I, I worked it out <laughs> sometimes it's funny watching yourself back on video so see yourself doodling you're going no do that do that do that oh there you go he's worked it out he's figured it out <laughs> yeah okay well I'm going to leave the video run now because it's nearly finished thanks for watching and you know having a chat you know so that's all good stuff love to see your work so if you've got if you've done something like this post it up in the community that'd be great um, and maybe we can get it on the next 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 chat next video we do because I'd love to get you your stuff on, on this channel and go for it and talk about it. Wouldn't that be fun? I'd quite enjoy that. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Show some love. Yeah. And I'll talk again with you guys soon, hopefully. Yeah. Be good out there. Take care.